Also tonight, the Pan American Health Organization, the regional arm of the World Health Organization, is working with health officials in a number of ways to ensure that they receive the technical support they need in the fight against COVID-19. Country Representative Dr. Esther de Gorval notes that in addition to being a part of the emergency bodies now activated, they have assisted a great deal in testing as well. The laboratory testing that is ongoing, we train the personnel in the Bahamas and we continue to donate um, reagents for testing. And we have also donated um, swabs for patient sampling in, uh, in order to ensure that laboratory testing is available within the country. The National Laboratory has been conducting testing for COVID-19. At last report, 55 persons had tested positive. Health officials were expected to expand testing to vulnerable groups, including the elderly, those in prison, and health officials. While Dr. de Govril said another role PAHO plays is to ensure the test used are up to standard. Um, we've been providing some technical advice to the Ministry of Health on the need to validate the rapid tests that have been donated to the country and we've been working with the lab at uh, Princess Margaret Hospital in that regard in terms of um, designing the validation methodology and reviewing some of the results which are just coming in that work has not yet been completed. Aside from that she says they're looking at ways that testing could be expanded. On the request of, of the national authorities to look into the possibility of decentralizing testing um, to other um, larger populated islands such as Grand Bahama and, and perhaps um, I think Exuma is uh, the one that is being considered. And for those settings, we are, um, are looking into using uh, molecular tests that have a simpler format and provide a result within um, 45 minutes with a, a lower throughput. They can test maybe four to six um, patient samples at a time.